Hem Lauren Hem gets her first touch of the ball. Laura Coombs helps it to Hasegawa. On it goes to Shaw. City getting towards the final third now and making good progress too. Kelly's in a crossing position, pops it in. Shaw with a header. That is an absolutely glorious header. And the Blues lead. Their first attack of the match, their first attempt on target, and Khadija Bunny Shaw has given City the most exquisite start to the game. I said the wingers may be pivotal this afternoon. Well, they've just proven it. Chloe Kelly with a glorious clip into the box, but there was work to do. And Khadija Bunny Shaw went to that near post area, stooped and flicked it, glanced it out of the reach of the clawing hands of Sabrina D'Angelo. And there could not have been a better start to this wonderful WSL title challenge from the Blues than to take the lead with their very first attack. And in the sixth minute of the game, it is Arsenal nil, it is City one, and Khadija Bunny Shaw has goal number 27 of the season, 16 in the WSL. What a start. Lauren scored her seventh goal of the season to make it 2-0 against Chelsea last Sunday. And City have just won the ball back high up the pitch and Shaw is brilliantly denied by D'Angelo. And now it's Hasegawa. Hasegawa loses it though. Arsenal win it back well and now maybe they can counter-attack. City still in a decent shape. Well, that's a good ball out to the left-hand side and it's uh, Caitlin Ford who's on to it. Esme Morgan's trying to keep her at bay. Ford trying to get to the byline. And in the end, the cross is gathered again by Ellie Rove upon the near post. And anyway, Greenwood is OK, but City have lost the ball. And they're in a lot of danger here on the edge of the area. Out comes Roebuck to make the save, and it was a good one. Really good goalkeeping by Ellie Roebuck. Palova was onto this through ball through the heart of the City defence. Trying to find a way past can't do so she passes it instead and Shaw with a glance and Hemp oh what a chance what a chance oh, gets onto it now Shaw round the back she's got no support she keeps on going she's in the penalty area still with Shaw still with Bunny Shaw on it goes towards Hemp Hemp to drill it good save by D'Angelo Engeldahl comes forward Lovely ball out to the left to Kelly. Kelly on the edge of the area, tries the shot. It was going into the corner, and Angelo parried it away. And on towards Williamson. And now into the possession of Valti. And they've worked it well, Arsenal. And they're coming down the left-hand side, and Maritz is in a crossing position. And she plays a good ball in, it's not been cleared. City trying to win it back, and they might not do so. Arsenal have a wonderful opportunity for the equaliser, and they've scored! City just couldn't get the ball away. And those missed opportunities have come back to haunt the Blues. And nine-tenths of this stadium erupts with noise. Marnham it is that's equalised for Arsenal. City just couldn't get that ball away. It was in their penalty area. They had a two or three just mini moments to try and get it clear. They just couldn't. It kept coming back in and then eventually it broke for Marnham and Marnham didn't hit it particularly truly, but it was enough, it was near enough to get beyond the desperation dive of Ellie Roebuck, and it is Arsenal 1, City 1, and that wonderful first-half display from the Blues, where they maybe ought to have gone two up, they couldn't get that second goal, and now it is 1-1. One, one. You feel the Blues have to win, here's Shaw, that's a nice back heel, cross comes in, and Arsenal can't get it away, and Kelly hits it just wide of the near post. Now Arsenal are down the middle here, all of a sudden a ball down the middle, and Roebuck makes the save. Arsenal corner though, they've gone short with it. The ball's going to get drilled in at pace, oh, it's into the net! McCabe! And City's excellent first half work is all unravelling, because Arsenal have turned the match on its head. And with two goals about 20 minutes apart, have made it 2-1. They took the corner short, and McCabe rifled it with her left foot into the roof of the net. Robert couldn't get near to it, and it's Arsenal 2, City 1. And having been so dominant in the first half, but unable to find a second goal, that has cost them ultimately. Robert got a touch to it but McCabe hit it so well.
that they couldn't keep it out. And all of a sudden, it's gone from a 1-0 lead to a 2-1 deficit. It's cost them dearly. City had the ball in the final third, though, with Esme Morgan. Morgan to the edge of the area to Angledahl. Outside it goes to Kelly. Kelly's cross is decent, right across the face of the goal. The shot comes in, it's tiptoe. Really good save by D'Angelo, who's made, I would say, five, maybe six saves in the contest to keep it at just the one goal for City. And there's another great reaction save. It was a good hit by uh, Alexandri, who was up from the back. Hit it with tremendous power, but uh, tipped over by D'Angelo. Horton has to go long, popping it up to the right. Where it's taken down well by Razzo. The ball into Shaw, and Shaw's put it over. She beats the floor in frustration. Another opportunity for City. The whistle's in the mouth, and that might just be the final whistle of City's WSL title hopes. Let's not be too pessimistic. There are still 15 points more to play for. But City, you felt, had to take something from Arsenal today. And for such a long time, it looked like they would. Bunny Shaw gave them a fifth-minute lead. They were by far the better team in the first half. They had so many opportunities. Lauren Hemp had a wonderful opportunity to make it 2-0. Sabrina D'Angelo in the Arsenal goal was performing heroics. And then Marnham got the equaliser in the 62nd minute. 12 minutes later, a rifling shot from McCabe made it 2-1 to Arsenal. And try as they might, the Blues couldn't find an equaliser. And perhaps today, that might be the day that City will have to just concentrate on qualifying for the UEFA Women's Champions League. They've suffered a damaging defeat here. It might not be the end of their WSL title hopes, but it's going to take some revival to get them to the championship today. The final score here at Meadow Park, Arsenal 2, City 1.